be a good one here and eventually we will like subscribe share all that good stuff I'll promote and rank up my channel comment down below your favorite and least favorite moments about this movie if any at all a horror this is a horror movie uh, slash thriller that we're reviewing here starring Maisie Williams the owners uh, let's just jump right into this with the best stuff up front act one of my review so this film is really interesting it sets quite a different tone and it really ups the ante as things gradually escalate throughout the movie it really does shine in some areas particularly well some of the music is very fitting it really works to set the tension and tone um, the setting personally um, for one Maisie Williams her character that I can't even remember the name of uh, Mary slash Jane and <laughs> that's that's kind of funny in itself uh, Mary slash Jane because uh, she plays two roles in a way in here she has a twin sister but the twin sister isn't relevant for a big chunk of the movie but the owners I, I say it does a good job as a horror film but more so as a thriller film in the horror aspects it's really just a bunch of idiots get themselves into a situation and everything you can think go uh, that possibly can go wrong does go wrong and the characters themselves Maisie Williams is the only particular character with any credibility in this film but even her character itself uh, is pretty questionable in the department of brains because uh, while she does have morals and isn't a coward the rest of these characters are, are very immoral and very cowardice um, two different degrees um, but for the most part of the movie it, it's it does its job as a horror movie it does its job as serving up these disgusting questionable things that will make you be like oh man that is horrible <laughs> I mean it does do a good job in that avenue but for the most part uh, uh, the elderly couple really is well, really do feel like the stars because they come off so sweet and then there are times when it can drastically shift to demented and deranged and it, it's really well played but particularly, um, there's really not a lot of good to say. The story is a bit all over the place. It is good in its own right that it feels original enough. However, if you've seen a film called Don't Breathe, a lot of people have made comparisons that it is kind of just a ripoff of that. So, and saying that it is uh, kind of just... A low budget version of that or not a very good version of that so there is that complaint and I haven't seen that particular film so I can't say if, the, if that's true however I can say this film does do some things really well but for the most part no uh, so let's just move right into the bad uh, it is really sloppy. The pacing is all over the place. There are not really any likable characters. It, it takes quite a while to get into the horror thriller aspect of this film. It, it takes its time getting there and by the time we're there you could argue that that it is pretty horrific what's happening to this elderly couple that when the tables turn things become much more horrific and much more clear that this is a horror film but it just takes so long to get there and the characters uh, just make a lot of stupid choices that aren't really sensible even uh, Maisie Williams character Jane or Mary I should say uh, she makes a lot of really dumb decisions that just I uh, uh, you will be screaming at these characters for the majority of the film. Uh, you have one character who is just so cowardice. Another, uh, the other two characters who are just, uh, you know, so dickish. And one is insanely immoral at, at his behavior. You are rooting for that particular individual just to fail. So uh, there's really almost nobody to root for in this film. The only one that's 
particularly innocent is Maisie Williams' character. But the choices she makes throughout the film as things escalate are, are just flat out dumb. And it's, it's really unfortunate because uh, she, she, unlike the rest of the characters, isn't coward ass or uh, uh, just a jackass. <laughs> so, and the music, in a lot of points, the music, oh, so there are some points in the film where the music is good and fitting and helps to serve the tension. But there are a lot of points where the music does the film a disservice. Uh, and that's not particularly good when you're in a horror film and a, a horror film that is all about tension really this film is all about tension and escalating that tension but the characters are very ignorant uh, everything is very sloppy all over the place the pacing uh, the motivations the story doesn't even really come together that well and it's not as good as it could have been and it does not have a satisfying conclusion or ending either which is expected for a horror film you expect the worst kind of ending possible for a horror film or at least I do the worst kind of ending for the uh, hero like characters the survivor type characters uh, but that's not what you get in this film. Uh, this film is completely erratic sloppy all over the place it is enjoyable uh, I will give it credit for that. Is it enjoyable? It is interesting. It is somewhat creative. However, the characters, eh, 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 the, just the characters themselves, they make the worst decisions. The film is just pure chaos, pure sloppy, messy chaos that felt like it had no idea what it was where it wanted to go. I mean, it knew what it was, but it had no idea what it really wanted to do with it, where it wanted to go, how it wanted to kind of tie everything up in a neat little bow. It didn't do any of it well at all. I will uh, give it props for the acting. The acting, despite all these characters, most, almost all of them being completely unlikable, um, they did some great acting. So I will give them credit on that. And my thoughts on this film are just kind of as scattered brain on the film itself because it, it doesn't really have a clear structure or anything that serves it well. But it is likable. I will say that it, it's likable when there's uh, hardly anything new ever and you have such a strong actress in the lead and you have this very strange, curious setting with these oddly compassionate individuals that can be equally deranged and twisted. So, I would go as far as giving the film a 5 out of 10. It's average at best. Um, um, uh, and, that, and that's, I don't know if that's a stretch to give it a 5. From my perspective, it, it did some things really well, and the acting was top-notch. Um, the production values were good enough, and it did really build that tension really well. But the characters just got awful, and I felt like this thing was being winged and made up. <laughs> as a, I, I really felt like this was a first draft of a screenplay and they just ran with it <laughs> like there was no revisions or anything it's just so sloppy with that said 5 out of 10 let me know your thoughts and opinions on this like I said there are some really good enjoyable moments for this film but they are a, a, the execution is just horrendous <laughs> 5 out of 10 big good one here eventually we will comment down below least favorite moments favorite moments if any at all um, but interesting interesting film to watch stay awesome rock on